it's just kind of like almost a blind playthrough, so because I don't know it as well as I know the yeah. others. Oh, let me just share my yeah, screen. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Oops. But let's just hope it ain't as bad as, well, Vampire Killer. Yeah, well. All right, all right let me res uh, let me get reset. All right. All right so. Kemco. 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 Oh, right. 1999 Infinite Ventures. <laughs> the world <laughs> spins and time moves on. The memory, the fear of the evil that once walked this land has faded. Gone are the guardians who have stood vigil against its return. The heroes of ages past are no more. The one who fulfilled the great prophecy and defeated the evil lives now only in the tales of bards. Peace and prosperity have returned. Yes, peace. Prosperity and complacency. The world spins and time moves on and the evil stirs again. This time, there is no great hero to rise against it. Long ago, this road saw warriors and kings ride its length. Long ago, this road was a lifeline across the continent. Long ago, this was a well-traveled and safe road for free man and surf alike. But that was long ago. Now this road, which cuts across the high plains near the Gatekeeper Mountains, where Shadowgate is, home to the fabled castle Shadowgate, has become a haunt for bandits and thieves. Those unfortunate enough to travel this road know the risks and danger. And many take the chance because of the necessary a necessity for trade and commerce. And so it goes that the caravans come and the bandits plunder. I'm On this day, you... another unlucky caravan has fallen victim to the thieves. But this time, the fate of a young halfling in the very world itself will be forever altered because of it. I am, uh, uh, I'm, I'm actually digging up music a little bit. Mm, yeah, there we go. Sorry, just making full screen so I can see. Understood. Yep. Shadowgate 64. Yeah, so this is Kemko's uh, Trials of the Four Shadowgate. Towers. We did not steal this from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> sure, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, Sauron had right. fire. We have snakes. Totally different. <laughs> totally different. It was four towers instead of two. Whoa. Oh, and we're in Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's that little caravan. It's not using a halfling instead of a hobbit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Which is the same thing. This is... Mm, okay. actually pretty well animated, all things considered. Honestly, this gives me... I don't know, like, Final Fantasy vibes? Kinda. Kinda. Yeah, huh. uh, I, I kinda almost get, like, um... Uh, Record of Lost War. Yeah, Record oh, of Lost yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh no! Our caravan pulled. Well, it's ju just another day in Middle Earth. Oh! Ow! Well, I was joking on the gunpowder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, what do you think those barrels are full of? <laughs> um, most likely ale. Yeah. Now they go Shadowgate. Yep. That's the Shadowgate. Now we're more oh. expensive. But now a uh, villa or a big city has been built around it. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So we're going to the. So it's turned into the city of Shadowgate. Yep. Okay, so. We did not rip off Tolkien. Time. We promise we did not rip off Tolkien. Sure. <laughs> we got four towers, well, not two. Well, I didn't get too much into Tolkien, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, yep. Tolkien's a, a special beast, so, yeah. Still looks better Great. than Castlevania 64. Yeah. yeah. This, this is actually like one of those uh, one. unique Nintendo 64 games. We never usually get uh, one of these uh, mm -hmm. uh, adventure type of things, like first-person yeah. And this isn't using the expansion pack, so it's actually pretty nice. Yeah. Oh. Our poor halfling got attacked by bandits and got captured. Kind of difficult to see if it's a halfling. Or Actually, a it was more like well, elf. half elf. That's what I meant by halfling. Half elf. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit misleading. Very yeah. misleading. But that was at the time when halfling were seen as hobbits. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh yeah, they had halflings back uh, even in uh, Ultima series. Oh yeah. Well, different names for different things.
No, no, they called them halflings from uh, that, or they, they were also uh, advanced D&D. &D. Yeah, indeed. Mm. If you glance around at your surroundings, there has got to be a way out of here. I'm mm. getting major D&D &D vibes from this game, period. Uh, yeah, no kidding. And, yeah, we're going... Well, God, this... D &D. well is this... Uh... Dungeon Explorer? Yeah, it, it, it may yeah. Does, it may look like it does it explore, but this man appears asleep. So give mine, mine, yes. mine. This is an adventure title. Vastar. Mm -hmm. Hey, a newcomer and a halfling to boot. My name's that guy. I'm a magician. Oh, so they were true on the halflings. Hmm. What's your name, Dell? You say? Wait. Yeah, my name's Dell. Wait, Del. wait a minute. Wait, wait, was Dude, it Del? you're getting a Del. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wasn't was Del also like uh, considered a protagonist in the upcoming Shadow, Beyond Shadowgate game? I don't know. It says, says the name Del. Like it could be, yeah. So maybe Beyond Shadowgate is just a way to redo Shadowgate 64. <clears throat> Alright, keep going, Vass. Okay. I wish I could greet you under better circumstances. Traveling with the Trey Cavern when you were Best it's like D. You're lucky that you're still alive, Dell. <sighs> lucky indeed. You hear a rustling at the door to your cell. Ah, oh, food. Time to eat, halfling. Enjoy it while you can. Maybe you're lost. I believe, like... I've heard that torture shall start tomorrow. I don't know why they waste the time on you. You know, it kind of reminds me, like... If I had my way, I would have thrown you in the sewers long ago. You know, it kind of reminds... It's a shame to waste good food on someone like you. You know, it kind of reminds me of that, like... What if, like, uh... Like, like, like uh, both, uh... Beyond Shadowgate Turf Graphics and... Shadowgate 64 were based off a of scrap concept for... For the original Beyond Shadowgate. Could be. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, oh, alright, here we go. Uh, pay no attention to him, my friend. Seth? Why, you're within the castle. Castle Shadowgate, to be exact. Legendary mm -hmm. center of magic for all of Cal Thor Thorin. Yeah, it's nothing but a haunt for thieves and treasure seekers now. Mm -hmm. You see, the magic items are made by the sorcerer Black Lake Mirror are said to be hidden here. Some say they can be found in the four towers, which is no one can has entered for four years. You see, four towers, not two towers. <laughs> I thought that would be like four things like the Final Fantasy <laughs> plot one. <laughs> no, more like Tolkien. Yeah. Yeah. These towers have been sealed by magic. Nobody can in, get in. Believe me, I tried. Yeah, see, we have a lock mirror. We don't have a Saruman. <laughs> That's why I'm in here. Try to break <coughs> break the wards and hurt some thieves. <laughs> hurt some thieves. I can tell you they are not too happy with you now. But enough talk. I need to conserve my strength. They all come for me soon. <gasps> oh, poor guy. Uh, all right. Gotta save him now. Yeah, we'll try to. Oh. All right. So let me just give a save state. Yep. All right. <laughs> hmm. On to our first death. Uh... Well, there are dead deaths in Shadowgate 64. Yes, I shall move the straw side because unlike Eric, Prince Eric, I don't have a match. Hmm. Mm. It's kind of, kind of, kind of funny. Like, does Shadowgate usually starts starts you off in a prison? Um, only beyond Shadowgate in this one, because remember, in the original Shadowgate, we started right at the entrance to Shadowgate. You notice a grate and can smell the sewer below. Your nose crinkles at the smell. You wonder where this might lead. So you open the lid. Um, yes. What about the meat? Grunting from the uh, excursion, you fail to budget. There must be a way to pry it off. Hmm. You have a crowbar. <laughs> no, you don't have meat. Crowbar. Oh wow, a leg. Yep. Leg. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it looks like the meat is some kind of beast. You want to eat it? Yeah, sure. No. Oh, and now we have some right to trade open. Pew. Cool. You gag on the greasy meat. Ugh. It was terrible. no lick, lip, lip licking chicken. No, it was, not. it was just terrible stuff. Or uh, 
It's leftover or... bone. None of the point looks uh, and looks strong. Shall you take the bone? Yes, I shall. Yeah, why not? Well, you know what? This is still uh, better than what Kempko fi uh, became later, Vess. You decided to take yeah, the bone. Yeah. Handy. Hmm. Maybe we can use that to pry open. <laughs> well, of course we will. I already thought of it. Yep. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> the cover open. You can see the dark waters of the sewer below you. Well, so long, long everyone. Goodbye, cruel world. Right. And then you hear your bone crack. No, I was gonna say. Yeah, then so. you hear. You shake the putrid water from your clothes as you look around the dank sewers. No, 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 no. Seriously, seriously, yeah, the more I try to squeeze into the narrow opening, but to no avail. Seriously, the no, more no, 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 no. I, more I play, play Dead Cells, the more like indie cameos I get. Hmm. Ooh, potion. Ooh. And a bank of wood. Nope, Ooh, can't get it. Take... Aww, but no. I want to take the only plank. I can go in here. Yes. Oh great, a jumping puzzle. Just like in the death of the underground lake surprises and scares you. Hmm, better save it, just in case. Nope. <laughs> An apparition appears. It seems very agitated, but you can't understand the ghost. Zoinks. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and I died. Whoa! <laughs> Taking one misstep, you plunge into the reeking waters. You are astounded just how deep this lake in is as you quickly sink. Your lungs begin to burn as you continue to sink, struggling for breath. Your vision swims as you gasp for breath and suck in only water. Death quickly follows. Try oh again. God. That was quick. Yep. <laughs> Try again, oh. kiddo. Okay, you have to remember to sink. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And so he's just saying, don't do it. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, we can't go here now, so... If only we had a plank of wood. Yeah, I can't do that yet. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's an old waterlogged crate. All right. Let's see here. Property of Umbrella. Hmm. No, can't move <laughs> it either. No UMBs for me. Can't make V-Jolt either. Well, I was thinking so, to, like, if you're the, wondering, like, the, the movement's kind of weird. I have to do up C button, and then the analog stick is what I use to move around. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. You know, you could, oh, could like, configure the controls, like, in the, like, the settings. It just on the control, uh, well, on the emulator uh, control settings. Wait a minute. Oh, did I go in the, Okay. Like you, you could change things. No, no, I, I, I can, I can work with it. I got no problem with it. Okay. Unfortunately, the music took a nose dive compared to where it. Oh, okay. So oh, we're on this side does. now. Hmm. Did it really? But unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, can't, still can't do anything without getting over. Ready to topple over at any minute, huh? But we don't have anything to do it. Uh, you cannot just push it. Oh, okay. No, nope, this... we need an item. Remember, we're not Prince we're Eric. We're gonna... We can't punch things to death. Well, you we could just kick it. <laughs> nope. Weaken we're, it. We're not, we're weak. We couldn't even fight off those bandits. Eric could have done that. Oh my goodness. We, we need ye oldie gym. Or a strength potion. Oh, look at this. Hmm. The water's getting quite deep. Sitting in further might be dangerous. Okay. And that, well, thank, is thank you for the warning. Yep. Right. Looks like someone else tried to escape the dungeon. Looks like oh, they well. Are. I wonder they if they die of dysentery. <laughs> dysentery? Nah. Pretty sure they die of something else. They didn't make it to Oregon. That's all we know. Yeah. Hmm. 
It's a high wall, but if you can get a handhold, it looks climbable. Hmm. The bow. Uh, let's check around here first if there's anything else. Hmm. Yeah, we could try the bone. The wall's too difficult to climb without some assistance. You huh. had the bone. It we says did. it needs some assistance. Hmm. If only we had somebody who could aid us. Yeah, <laughs> well, unfortunately, that skeleton's kind of busy. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the funny thing is that I'm trying to understand just how weak that halfling is. Pretty weak. Because hmm. I don't think anyone who... Oh, isn't... here we go. Yeah, our bars are quite rusty. You want to try and pry one loose? Sure. So, so the thing is... <laughs> With a tug, you move an iron bar. Okay, then. Would you like to collect another iron bar? <laughs> <laughs> so now yes, we have something you... that can knock over that pillar. Remember? But that's the thing. How weak is that halfling? Very weak. Because that makes me kind of laugh because we have a halfling that's low strength and it's still capable of kicking stuff. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah. that's not weak. That's strong. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. We'll save it here because it's probably like, oh, no, you, you got to balance just right. And then poof. Water and time have bleached these bones white. Oh well. Pretty much. Hmm. Engines. Alright, well that's a way out. Neat. Let's check over here first. This wall has since, uh, the wall has been smashed in. It's almost as if something were looking for something. Hmm. Oh. An ancient pickaxe lays discarded upon the ground. Let me take the pickaxe. Oh, maybe that pickaxe might help me climb a wall. Take the pickaxe, impressed by its weight. Yeah, always gotta make sure I save, because again, this is just new, new territory for me. If I went down here, see where that. Uh, oh yeah, and you you do do from. pretty much have the foggiest memories when playing this game. I mean, I think we all would if like the last time we played this was like shortly. Or you might try. You discover it's locked and can't be open. Oh well. Yeah, but see, like the music's okay. It, it it's giving me that Zelda vibe, vast. But again, like going from like that PC engine, like just. What brilliance of that soundtrack. Oh, okay. So we do, yeah, so we're going to use that pickaxe, as you saw, because we need an assistance to climb up the uh, wall. Which makes sense, you know. Mm -hmm. You're using it like a grappling hook. Oh, is that something there? You found a parchment. It is called Journal. <laughs> Will you take it? Yes. You decide that you will take this parchment. Hmm. Um, uh, Deadpool. I am amazed at what I think we found. Buried in the ground and unearthed after all this time. He said we should sell it to the sorcerer said we'd be rich i have a bad feeling about this uh-oh and that's what happened to him <laughs> my only regret was that i never got to try stroganoff some beef mm. let me get mm. beef stroganoff all right yeah, they, they really wanted to aim for that uh, Zelda 64 aspect on the music. I mean, not a bad score to hit. Yeah. I mean, it, 
it does have have this uh, unique mm -hmm. aesthetic of, like when it comes to Nintendo 64 games. Oh yeah, actually so mostly because it's on a cartridge. All right. It's a long <laughs> to Tipperary. Using the pickaxe, you scale the wall. Okay. Hopefully, we made footholds so we don't have to do that every single time. Who knows? You look hmm. this way. I am Secret just passage. Hmm. Important item. Oh, see? That's mean. You see her knocking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. knock. Any knock. hollowed walls? Hmm. Now I have to search around the ground here. One of those types. That's, that's the only thing. I've uh, those types of adventures, and, and Dasher, you can affirm that I hate like you having to search every area if you miss something on the floor, on the ground. They're like, well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. Time to die. We've we've yeah. seen this maximized during your uh, playthrough of uh, oh. Cyberpunk. Hell. If you could get through the ceiling, you might be able to escape this place. Huh. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. With a crash, the ceiling collapses. You should have been a miner. <laughs> okay. That's kind of funny that he could swing when he said that he was impressed by the weight of it. Hmm. Well, I just made my way out. Da -da 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 -da. Look around and wonder if this is one of the towers Agar spoke of. Well, Dasher, I've already gotten into one of the four towers. Yay! <laughs> I wonder if I can find Aragorn or Gandalf. Nah. <laughs> Let's see. You, you find something scroll on the wall. Dumbledore was here. Oh. <laughs> oh, see that? Oh, it makes different sounds, too. <clears throat> nice, nice. I, 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 oh, I, think, that? I think that's Gandalf. Not Dumbledore. Yeah, somebody's at your door. Yep. <laughs> I know, I was just making it funny. I uh, know. <laughs> Alright. Again, always gotta explore. Hmm. It's a fundamental property of these okay. in the bathroom. Hmm. Well, this is entertaining, but also very oh. <laughs> dull because you're just. Yeah, it's a lot different than what you were seeing me play with Beyond Shadowgate. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. <laughs> hmm. Oh, really? Oh, uh, child, uh... Oh, dear. Oh, so long as they're, so long as they're not angered. Mm-hmm. These little shells appear to be on the verge of falling down. Hmm. Did you, you found a fairy sculpture. Well, you take the statue. Okay. Oop. Took a fairy statue. You feel lighter. Oh. Oh, it looks neatly organized. Fine. Nothing we should take. All right. Alright, well, it's look like treasure chest, maybe? Oh, nothing useful here. Uh, again, I'm, I'm getting used to the control vast, so it's not too bad. Nothing useful here, except those chickens. Mm. Oh, looks like something's here. And always make sure I save. Oh, yeah. There, there, there. You see a single slipper. You take the slipper. Okay. You can't take the slipper. Some unseen force holds it at the table. Nope. Uh, so oh. we need to look for another slipper and pair it with it. Mm -hmm. And then we can click our heels. Hmm. Yes. And if they just look looks like home. <laughs> <laughs> this bed is quite small. Yes. This bed is just right. <laughs> just. 
You know, uh, it's sort of kind of bleak because of just land or just blend together. This bed is unusually large. This bed is too big. But it's the comfiest in all the land. Any NPCs you could talk to? Mm, not yet. Well, we, we talked to the magician, remember, but we couldn't save him. Nothing we At could do about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Did we go to the store or not? Oh. I don't recall. Hmm. We might have came from it. Oh no! You didn't. You know. You know. As much as I would like to think, like. Oh, hold on, listen. Did Nintendo ever, you know, like uh, censors? Uh, you know, like I know people like. Uh, does Nintendo ever censors um, hmm. foul languages? Like. On their um, in, on any of their Nintendo games, I mean, especially ones uh, from third party. Yeah, they did with uh, Maniac Mansion. Remember, you found a coiled length of frayed rope. So I believe sure. this was like, until like the GameCube days. Yeah, because remember with Maniac Mansion, you saw that part. Like, remember when I I broke open Weird Ed's uh, piggy bank, and Michael said, "Damn, I broke it." It would have just said, "Oops," in the NES version. Yeah, so that ROM hack kind of uh, fixed a lot of the what was censored. That was that was one of them where the where you're yeah. gonna say, "Damn, I, 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 it, you know, I, just go sucks, yeah, hey, man." Yeah, so basically there was also um, that uh, you know, like like even though Cogger is supposed to be the the most Cogger's bad for day is supposed to be the most adult. Yeah, they, they, they still censored the words. Censored, they had to. Yeah, they wouldn't allow them to say fuck and all that stuff. Hmm. They, they allowed him to serve, and then of course, yeah, anything that was nudity wise, they had to censor that, sir. Even in. Although they still were able to skirt. Even it. in Live and Reloaded? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Live and Reloaded? Yeah, that was censored. Oh, yeah. I yeah, remember, they're just. they All they did was just upscale the game, gave it the Star Fox Adventures furry physics, that's it. Okay. As hard as you might try. So, so, so it's like trying to attempt to push the boundaries? On, like, uh, that's why I didn't like uh, live and uh, live and reload because it just it didn't do anything different. It just it, it just made the multiplayer a little bit better. That's it. It may have made two things different, but it was not enough to really warrant. Uh... Mm -hmm. Nope, oh, right in my face. <laughs> Oof. Hmm. What a splendid entrance, no doubt about it. This is one of the four towers. Yep. Mr. Cat, what are you doing up there? Well then. Oh. Um, Dasher. Ah, the traveler arrived. Del Cottonwood. Del Cottonwood. He ain't with me sniffing me To my happening, how do you know your name? My name is Blackmail. Hey! Welcome hey, back, we Blackmail. Uh, are you not going to summon a behemoth again? I hope not. This tower is where I train my disciples. You're not here for training, eh? No, not, not yet, Dumbledore. Which way does the road wind with the tail? Which path do you follow? Microsoft or Apple? <laughs> Why? Path is easy but leads to death. Narrow is hard but leads to life. Except I'm the Bible. To choose the narrow and stick me in the next tower, the Tower of Lachmia. If you choose the wide, then you're not the one I waited for. Sorry, Gandalf. You'll be there. <laughs> The question is, I will be there, Happy. The question is, will you? Wow, they really Ooh, were going Tolkien with this. <laughs> yeah. You... What was on Kim Cone's mind? <laughs> I don't know. I just know it's like they wanted to really make like a Grand West version without ICOM because ICOM had nothing to do with this. Oh, let's see this. Can't drink it. Can't drink it. I'll be right back. You found a statue of an elf. Will you take the Link statue? Yes, I will. Hello. Yes. And you slowly suck it. 
No, just it, it's absorbed in Dell Cottonwoods. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say you money. inhale it slowly. Our journey disc looks like it costs a pretty penny. Steal it. Not really. No, can't do anything with that. Look, looks old, disgusting, and new. Door seems barred by some force. You notice a strange marking on the door. It won't open. There must be some special way to open this door. Like with a dragon. Alright. Oh well. Let's see, did I come about? Yeah, I did. Hmm. I think that this desk is worth. Uh, you wonder at the vandal who carved his initials in this ancient desk. How dare he? This book reads the final battle. Will you take the book? Sir, you took the book, anticipating its exciting contents. Let's see. How strange, this book is devoid of any words. Will you take the blank book? Okay. Uh. So I have one that one cannot have enough wordless books. Your number of books makes your head spin. You brush the dust away and read the title of Writing Dragons. Take the dusty tome. Okay. It's not really just Aragon, three. you say. You took the ancient manuscript. Ooh, Aragon. Good book. Alright. So, Dasher, I will have uh, you uh, do these. Of Writing Dragons. Mm -hmm, yes. Oh, sorry. Oh. Dragon, dragon. There you go. And who is wiser, the man or the dragon? Men fear, dragons do not. As wise as the serpents, dragons discern if the rider is afraid. I tell you this, no cow has ever written one. Dragons respect only the brave. Is it wise to mock a great dragon and to use them in any unworthy way is folly? Truly, there is no beast alive that's more gracious with man. So they can be controlled, you say? Nay, I say, never. Their ways are higher than our ways. Their thoughts are deeper than- Okay, why are you ripping off the Bible? <laughs> Jeez <laughs> Louise. Their thoughts are deeper than our thoughts. <laughs> there are few things in this life to no more faith than the dragon. Dragons are freaking okay. awesome. Blank book. <laughs> I have nothing worth to say. It is impressive. Dead. There must be a meaning to this book. Oh, oh how about the final battle? Oh, God. Everybody oh, God. died at the end. There you the go. Victory is won, won but oh. the war is not over. Our greatest foe has been vague wish, but his minions still survive. Ready to finish their evil master plans. Brave young Jair, destined to confront the evil one, has triumphed. But at what cost? <laughs> Exhausted after his final confrontation against the war war's most powerful creation, the behemoth. Yep. Young Jera must take the mantle of a hero and lead <coughs> his ragtag group of defenders against the deadliest the Warwick War's remaining army. With the help of the lizard Lackmere, young Jera waits to fight a battle with the staff of ages at his side. The land of Cal Torwin moans and cries out against the blood scene that is seen. Soon it shall see victory and the land shall once again no peace. But wasn't But wait, wasn't yeah, there like we are the one who who Yes, Lackmere is the one that summoned the, the uh, behemoth, but this may have been Kemko uh, redoing the lore that ICOM had set up because they were being ambitious. Mm -hmm. so yeah, but, then, oh, right. but then why oh by doing all this, well, but, wasn't Lackmere also like a uh, best friend in Beyond? Yeah, Lackmere, Lackmere's helping us out too. Remember? Oh, here's that thing about the dragon. Yeah. Is there That's... a flagon with the dragon? In ancient <laughs> book, it's made sure <laughs> bindings nearly falling apart with age. Will you take the book? Yes. You decided against disturbing it since it may fall apart at any moment. Hmm. Aww. You see the glow of sunlight. Should you take a look outside? Yes. Of course. Would you like to eyeball. take the sunlight? <laughs> 
Oh. Well, that's you very, yearn to leave weird. this dead tower, but you are too big for the window. Okay. If only I was a dragon. Oh well. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get this book. This book is devoid of any writing, its pages are blank. Sure, another blank book. Well, at the same time, I do say that the shift in writing <laughs> might be due to them. Yeah, look at that, you decide that you can always use an extra pound to lug around. <laughs> okay, yeah, they, they were, at least they were having fun with the dialogue. Yeah. yeah, and I do think that they were trying to do something with the story this time. Mm -hmm. Just a few normal. more books and you'll weigh enough for it to be perhaps like the normal human. <laughs> yeah. Alright, oh, good night, uh, Lord Aurelius. Oh, take it easy, Lord Aurelius. Alright, so let's see more of these passages. Good night, Lori. You read the words of the book's cover, Memorandum. Will you take the book? Yes, I will. Sure, it's random. Memorandum. You take the book wondering if you should open a library soon. <laughs> yes, you should. Reading can't be hard when you got a library card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll read this one. It happened moments before the keeper disappeared. The official stared wide eye at the marvelous crystal. What is it? He mouthed. The dragon keeper simply recited. The man's eye sees a tiny flame. The dragon's eye a consuming fire. The man's eye no one to blame. The dragon's eye creates the pyre. The official thought about these words. Could the eye turn even the faintest of lights into a reflected blaze? Surely the eye of the dragon must be extremely dangerous. It was, after all, stored deep within the depository. Unfortunately, the riddle did not answer his question. What exactly is the eye of the dragon? Is it like <laughs> the eye of the tiger? <laughs> uh, at least, you know what? I will say I like the book turning animation. Yes. Oh, yeah. Smooth. Artifacts of power. Hmm. Yes. Uh, hmm. Dasher. Eel Shield do artifacts of power. You know, you take I, I, I'm it. still thinking about like the most notable differences between the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation. <laughs> Alright, Dasher. I am concerned that my task is the most difficult of all my brethren. I have been given the Pixie Flute, a powerful item created with light magic. Its magic is rumored to be powerful, yet I cannot unlock it. Blast! Because <laughs> <laughs> the Acolyte have unlocked the magic of their devices, I remain stumped. I'm convinced that there is a secret behind the use of this device. My teams have instructed us in the ways of the four orders, but I have dis failed to discern the meaning to unlock the flute's power. I try playing it, but what is worse about my situation is that I tried so hard and for so long to make the flute's magic manifest that its conditions has worsened. I'm afraid that if I continue, it will be forever broken. I am even fear it will work properly. Then I shall have truly failed. I didn't know how to whistle, so I kept <laughs> into the flute. It wasn't working. <laughs> That's I, what he was doing. Maybe if I move my hands a little better. <laughs> All right, let's see this book. Oh, but yet yeah, don't try to do the same thing over and over. No, oh, it'll work this time. No, the name of this book is The Laws of Magic. Oh, right. past, like, oh boy, uh, uh, Sturkio, since since oh, you're yeah. one upon her. Books like this are very interesting. You think to yourself as you take it. They're very interesting indeed. Yeah, I knew we were going to say something. Yeah, uh, Sturkio, you're going to read about the Laws of Magic because you're a Harry Potter fan. Ah, yes. This book shall attempt to explain some of the simple principle behind the Laws of Magic. The first and most important precept is that although there are many types of magic, all laws apply universally. In this book, we shall look at the magic of three of the four orders. This book shall discuss the practice, strength, and difference of chaos, order, Ooh. and life. Chaos magic! Right. So <laughs> oh, death magic! Water, wow, there's fire, death magic. Or, ju just to say, not water, not fire, <laughs> or whatever, it's literally chaos, order, life, and death. Pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so how about death magic? Death shall be omitted from this discussion because of the recent forbidding of its usage. A warning needs to be inserted that the magic of the reversally taint the soul. Damn. Like oh, so it's actual necromancy. Yep. Having said that, let's look at magic in general. There are many ways to conjure magic. Each of the orders have a definitive way to enact its magic. 
but remember that all four different each have similar result. Order use the precise enunciation of the written word learned from spell books. Life employs expensive gesture handed down by word of mouth from master to pupil. Chaos uses a combination of violent gesture and guttural word called from all the orders. Which Damn. is Okay. Death use arcane ritual in force of mind. Necromancy. To demonstrate the difference in conjuration. No more shall be said on death. The following section look at some of the more common areas of magic among the order. Hmm. The creation of magical artifacts hold many common attributes. Typically, an artifact is bestowed with its magical properties so that all can use. This sometimes proves problematic because many novices can too easily manipulate too powerful a magic item. <laughs> and it blows up in their <laughs> face. Or the reverse. So the function of personalizing it implodes, an artifact. It implodes their face? <laughs> no. Someone that's powerful cannot hand as essentially an item that cannot handle the power of a person, so it cracks open. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Like that flute that you don't you don't it just it just exactly. be like this this came around the same time as like when the Bill Lots where Stone came out. It feels more like Skyrim. Yep. <laughs> that, no Skyrim. Right. God, Skyrim was, was ten years. Well, ahead. the uh, dagger, uh, uh, Daggerfall was out at this time. Uh, uh, Daggerfall and then uh, Redguard. This, if yeah, you're going true. by the Elder Scrolls so, series, let's I keep guess. On going. All right. This sometimes included. Uh, yeah. This sometimes included a keyword or phrase to activate the device. Mm -hmm. But increasingly, the order would include a secret mechanism into each of their magic. Oh, we are really going Potter. For example, the legendary staff of. Ages, mm -hmm. a product of order, was personalized for only Lord Jair's use. Another device that allowed the manipulation of order's artifact is the use of a key ring, like the Ring of the Kingdom, that many attempt to win through the trials. Oh, and also a master so that key. nobody gets blown up. <laughs> <laughs> the Order of Light typically employed the use of pure heart and visual as a means to unlock its power, or other device like sunlight, which means not everybody. <laughs> However, it's enacted a magical artifact must never be misused or the user will suffer dire consequences. Hmm. Neat. Like but we still don't know about chaos box. magic or death magic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, let's continue. Chaos, death, life's order. <laughs> order, yep. Well, I mean, Lackmere wanted to make sure that we were the ones that could uh, uh, go through the trials of this tower. Now, every and time you see, really say, say La Black Mirror, D &D Mirror it, it almost sounded like Black Mirror, and it really just uh, corrupted my mind. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Black Mirror. Sorry, I didn't mean to say Black Mirror. No, no. It, well, uh, well, it, it, oh, it almost sounds like Black Mirror. You found a liquid vial marked Liquid Sunset. Will you take the vial? Ah, alcohol. What, 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 do, do we both uh, both have separate accidents when, when I say Lake Mirror and and you said Black You drink mirror? the liquid and you make it feel woozy and wobbly. What, you, you pronounce, oh. you pronounce that, pronounce it as Black Mirror and I pronounce it as Lake Mirror. <laughs> wow! <laughs> really selling us on the drunkenness. Um, oh, and yeah, yeah, we we yeah, were. It was about and 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 that, and that was our, during our, our talk with the pronounced like, an eight man sculpture. <laughs> sure, I'll take that. <laughs> well, 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 we're drunk. <laughs> oh, I'm just making kind of kind of oh. 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 you fumble into the face. Oh, you not have at all. All even affects the door anime. <laughs> okay, and we're out of that. <laughs> that, was oh, that, was, that. That was a fun one. Liquid oh, Sunset. Oh, but we used an item. Yeah, Liquid Sunset. We could have given it to someone. Mm -hmm. Could we? No Gotta regardize the language these books are written in. If I oh, were written about that, oh, English. it was some sheet music for a guitar. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the music is... Uh... A statue of a man and two empty pedestals. Mm. Huh. We have a pedestal of an ape. I wonder if it fits uh, here. Or an elf? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, ape and elf. Hmm. In a fairy. Hmm. Is there an order to this? A puzzle? Hmm. Place ape man sculpture in the pedestal. Uh, can you save before you do anything? Yeah, well, we I just want to see 
I'll just miss it. And then you get an arrow to the face. With such an elf and pedestal. That's just a lineup, but nothing much happens. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. What is a man? A miserable pile of <laughs> secrets. But, this uh, is a secret. Oh, boy. How about, How about you? Oh, it, maybe it's by evolution. Who knows? I was thinking the same thing about evolution. Mm hmm. Maybe it's by race. No. Mm. All right, so we could try elf and then ape, or elf fairy <coughs> human. Well, oh, that might work. Go. Yeah. Yeah, by race. Magic, elf, the order of magic, maybe. Or fairy, what? Ma yeah. and man. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. What? Since we're talking about magic, who would have mm -hmm. greater magic? Yeah. Magic? Sure. Then they go by evolution. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. hey, all, I, I'm gonna say that, yeah, all... so fairy elf man. But, but this, but this is like really bizarre because, like, or are you talking about between like uh, from like Darwinism to uh, Fayism? Uh, I don't Maybe. know. Could be. Yeah. folkism. Could so at the same ism. time, I don't know if it's even gonna work. No, it didn't. Ah. Okay, hey. so ah, oh, or, you know, order of magic. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I was order. worried that the puzzle will not work even we got you know we got the oh, combination well, because the the didn't do it. Remember, this tower is all about students learning how to cast magic, so that makes sense. Yeah, uh, that's I, I, oh oh right. So wait, all wait, do you mean this specific tower or all towers? Yeah, yeah, this specific tower. Because remember, oh, this oh. is the one that Black Mirror. So was. so but we're so, learning how to become a uh, learning so, how to cast spells so that we. So can go so the I other I take it this, this is a tower of magic. Yes. Tower of magic. Extremely uncomfortable. Yes, it does. Yeah. Who sleeps without a mattress? All of them don't have mattresses. Eh. They must remove the mattress so that they got more space in it. Mm-hmm. They would just put them on oh, the back of their of the bed and then push them near the wall so that they have more space to practice. This book is devoid of any writing. Its pages are blank. Will you take the blank book? Yes. Grip. You said that you can always use another extra pound. They don't find anything useful in the stuff. Oh, but there's something over here. You find a flute with various. Uh, oh, there's that flute that uh, that um, student couldn't figure out. Uh, you yeah. take the magic one. Yes. You now own the magical flute. Because remember, uh, Dasher, he couldn't figure it out. No, he could not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get tired of this one little sound. Mm hmm. All right, so I don't think there's anything else in there. So... Nope, that's not. I will say I I like what it has so far, Vass. It, I mean, again, Shadowgate and Beyond Shadowgate, like, very very good. Like, this is Chemco trying, you know. Doing Zelda ish. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're doing an okay job, but they just need mm -hmm. more people. Yeah, right. Here's another drone as far as. So quiet. Yeah, quiet indeed. No doubt about it. What was that on the table? There was a note there. Yep, mm hmm. It's titled Student's Diary. Let me take the dusty tome. Boom. Grab the book, sneezing from the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Dasher. Student's Diary. Month of Paris. My birthday. Yeah, that's every day. It was merely a mm. matter of time before Watchmen discovered our body. Our nighttime pleasure jobs were no doubt ill advised. I always suspected he knew about excursions, but a man can only turn a deaf ear for so long. Perhaps they will be gracious with us. After all, the tribes were merely an occasional diversion. Will they confiscate the key and tell good master Lockheed Blackmere? Yeah, let's see, yeah, Lackmere. Uh, that's how I say, Lackmere. Lackmere. I, yeah, Lackmere. 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 Yeah. I, 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 I pronounce it as Lackmere. 
Oh, oh Lake Mere. Oh, that's what I said. Yeah, I just yeah. I say lack because uh, again I'm L yeah L A C. Yeah. The good master has both crushes. Wait, you're you're an L you're in much worse. Wait, sorry. Wait, I didn't know you're an L A student. What? I didn't know you you grew up in L A. No, no, no. I I grew up in in uh, Texas and uh, uh, Florida. That's oh. a, that's a, well. That is like uh, counts as having a slight accent. <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm just yeah. fully New Eastern. Well, uh, New England. Well, I, I was born in uh, New York. We lived. Uh, my family lived in New Jersey, but then we migrated down to Texas and then New to Z. Florida. Okay. Yeah. So Don't yeah. I spent, I spent most. I used to like live in California, but I moved uh -huh. into New Hampshire and probably stayed there and I, until. And I can no. understand why you lived in California, because again, your parents worked for Sierra, so Sierra was based out in California. Yeah, huh. Fort Worth, California. Mm -hmm. The good master was gracious. Yep. A week of shameful labor could be worse, much worse. I've heard that the future transgressors will be made to wear the blue ring. It is said the ring will drive a man aside. Uh oh. They were given the one ring, and then they're haunted by the ring race. This is killing me. Northwest well, one ring to control day. many. It happened on this day that I beheld a darker side of Black Bear. Hmm. He appeared from nowhere and yelled at me as I went to clean the fireplace. I quickly forgot my chores as I slinked away. <laughs> 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 that night, I started to think. Isn't it strange that a tower with no chimney should have a fireplace? I re realized that such thoughts were dangerous, but I could not help but think them as the moon rose over the third tower. Oh, third tower. Hmm. And I dreamt of a grinning skull wearing a ring of blue uh -oh. that cried out of its, for its brothers of red and green. Uh-oh. And, and, okay, and so... I saw the answers and a voice told me that once you're through one world, there's another world with, there's another waiting there. So it's not one ring, but it's three rings. So three rings with other things under the sky? <laughs> yep. Oh, I told you that Kemko borrowed a lot from Tolkien. Uh, Kemko Go. And and I, don't, I, I don't know why, but Kemko Co. really um, has taken an interest in a lot of these things. Yep. This title and reads The House also, of Dreslin. Uh, well, you take the, the Technicolor but it, but it will be a lot long before they, they end, end up in, in like, <laughs> That's uh, your growing cheap, 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 cheap <laughs> mobile. <laughs> JRPGs. Oh, yeah. So I will read House of Tristan. After the death of the great king Arond, the well, succession did not well, proceed well. With well, all, I, failing I mean, health and without an heir, the I great mean, king had the presence of mind to appoint his successor, Lord Jera, the way Well, uh, actually, cheap, cheap. I mean, cheap JRPGs. Like, yeah, they, for they, Kemco. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it ain't just mobile, but like it, they've been like ported to other platforms, too. Oh, they're they're yeah. still cheap. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This turned into a favorable decision by commoner and nobleman alike. Jarrah's leadership encouraged Temp Bird with his upbringing and compassion for the people, rivaled even King Aron's. However, one family opposed the choice, the Dreslin family. The Dreslins were an illustrious family of old lineage that served as chief vassals for generations. Supported by other conservatives who relied more on tradition than the welfare of the kingdom, the Dreslins mounted a political campaign against Jarrah. More renowned as castle builders than as statesmen, the Dreslin's political gambit failed. In the end, the more extreme factions of the family planned to assassinate the newly crowned Jair. Their plan was oh, no. thwarted. Jair, out of mercy and because of his short tenure on the throne, decided to spare them. Thus, the Dreslin family holdings and lands were confiscated, but they still retained their duties to the royal throne of Cal Torlin. Reflect of power, they were still a proud family. No, oh, there's their seal. Woo, look at that. Yep. Write it down, write it down, write it down. It's going to be important <laughs> mm -hmm. later. I yeah, Tristan. But you know what? Maybe those bandits that all around were probably uh, um, generations from Dreslin. Nothing holds Who interest. Knows? Yep. Okay, I'm going to Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, I know. Well, see, like, again, this is one of those games that, because they had the N64, which had a lot of memory... They were mm -hmm. able to kind of be like, okay, well, we can do a lot with this for that reason. So they, funny you know, enough, the PS4 was you know, a lot so more. Pack, so you probably couldn't play this without it. Let's see, but Pixie flew. You're very disappointed that nothing has happened. Okay. We need to play. Well, Star okay, so here's a specific spot. 
<laughs> yeah, but at least we know that unlike that apprentice, we knew how to use the correctly. And at least we figured out the statue thing. I, I, I'm pretty happy that we uh, got us, you know, from fairy to elf to human. Same. Mm -hmm. Same. Okay, let's go for this one. Oh boy! Uh. <laughs> okay. Why did that table flip all of a sudden? I don't know. It just flipped itself. Oh, another book. This is perhaps one of the oldest deaths you've ever seen. Oh well. There's no, another book on the ground. No. Title reads The Speeches of Lord Jer. Will you take it? Alright, Vass, you'll do the speeches of Lord Jer. Let's read more of it later. Oh god. Okay. Okay, actually yeah, I have I have a better idea. <laughs> Here we go, voice mods. Uh hold on. There was uh, something. Oh, uh what'd you guys think of uh the uh new uh, pose that uh Vass did for um the stream announcements for Rugal. That was amazing. Uh, that was yep. amazing. Thank you. It was quite nice. People of Doubt Darwin. The evil witch has threatened our land and sealed away forever. We are indeed safe. However, I ask you to look around. <laughs> and, and, now ravages of war are all about to. All the evil that has been done needs to be set right. Look at the land. The trees and the plants have all withered. The ground is scorched beneath our feet. For us, we have survived. A new battle still begins. It's here our future. We have to restore our beloved kill tree. We mm -hmm. need to rebuild from the ash. This magic has tossed so much of the blight on the wind. It is only the right of magic to be part of its cleansing. Therefore, I ask that not be your open shadow gate to those that will warn his ways. But guidance, these sorcerers will be called to rebuild and defend El Torwin. Anderson Elf. Blackbeer, the time was agreed and dedicate the four towers of shadow uh. to the gods. One of the used the training of the young soldiers, mm -hmm. one of his personal quarters, and mm -hmm. one of a testing place for those soldiers that would serve the war friendly. Okay, so there's Blackbeer. So that's the reason, um, Dasher, why there's four towers. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, that was a good one. Hey, well, another statue. Boy, yeah, I I tried I tried try doing the like the Uncle Chief voice, and I mm -hmm. thought thought that would be like Biden. You found a statue mm -hmm. of a primitive man. Oh, okay, so we are doing Darwin evolution too. So there's an ape yeah. man, primitive man. Ah, so yeah. ah, so we're going going both a Darwinism and the uh, Fayism and Darwinism. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all right. Nice that we have some nice mm -hmm. coverage there. Oh, well, this book is the Book of Orders. Let me take the book. It's. It it asks for two number five, two number fives. Look and put it away. A number six large. A number seven. <laughs> All right, Sturkio. The one created the heavens and the earth, giving birth to the four order which governs its steed. They are chaos, life, order, and death. All hang in the balance, and none holds sway over any other. For if one of the orders holds sway. The world end and begin anew. The Kofra or fairies were first born. Yes. Heedless, carefree, and possessing no worries. They were weak minded and saw only their own pleasure. The Four Order easily manipulated them, threatening the balance. The one was quickly So, this kind of tells you how to do that puzzle in that room. The one decreed that the fool could make war through the Kofra, and thus the world ended, and from the ashes evolved the Johira, more commonly known mm -hmm. as Hells. The Johira became the chosen people, and the one was pleased. Season passed upon the new paradise, and the Johira joyfully ministered the fun, then the great turning began. The collective mind of the Johira was subverted by the Order of Chaos, who sought to gain power over his brethren. The one saw his people corrupted. What but displeasure, he magnified the power of Chaos over the Johira, and 
the world ended once more. Dang, the one really doesn't give a shit. <laughs> hmm. In the madness that followed, the Johira that survived sought protection in all manner of places. The madness of Sood and Chaos rejoined his brother. The elves, because I'm tired of saying Johira, <laughs> emerged from hiding and they were changed. Those who hid in the plane became men. Yeah. Those from cave became dwarves. Mm -hmm. ah. Those from the north became barbarian. barbarian. Those from swamp became friendling. Thus the race were formed and the new one was pleased. Yep, so oh, that's yeah. how remember, so for that puzzle, that's how I went from yeah, from the fairies to the elves to man or other different things. I've never heard of Fenlings before. Be that must right be a different name for mm -hmm. a different look. Be right back, right. guys. Oh, there is something. Ooh, what do we got over here? Oh, Ooh, bonk. You feel very lucky having found this shiny coin. Oh, we take it. Yes. And then it's stuck on the floor, and you have Ooh. short nails. You have the ancient coin. Woohoo! Oh, oh, sweet. Now we can, now we can check out that ye olde vending machine. No, because now I can actually buy Max the Labrador again. Maybe he can save us. Ah. Oh, nice. We can buy something for us. <laughs> All right. So. That solved that, because I think, like, the biggest thing was, uh, getting that flute, so we are done with this area. Yep. Alright. So I think I was already in here, wasn't I? Let me just make sure and check. I always have to double-check to make sure, and... Yes, because this is where we found the alcohol. Alright. Liquid sunset. <laughs> Alright, well, Black Mirror, you're doing a very good job trying to train your students. Yeah. Yep. No. Sure. So uh, nothing I can really do with those books yet. You know what would be funny? What if what what if there was a plot twist that that it was all a lie and Black Mirror was the villain? I don't know because in Beyond Shadowgate he was a good guy. He gave us that the magic flute that allowed us to uh um no he didn't give us magic flute he gave us um the uh the tips about how to get through Shadowgate as well as um we also got that shell from him yeah he helped us out so blackmore was a good guy in that one hmm. is there anything else i could do over or that's not gonna say i can't enter this strange mark oh it must be a special way to open the store hmm oh what about that flute yeah i was just saying what about the flute no oh. Oh wow! I still I still have more of that um, liquid sunset. Huh. Oh, maybe maybe you need it for something. Can't be used here. What about the front door? Uh, let's save first. Cause it didn't yeah. look hospitable outside. Yeah. Firmly shut. Okay. So I still have to figure out the riddle of this tower before I can go on. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Well, we have the flute. We're just figuring out what do we do now. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa! Oh dear. What? Something ominous is afoot. <laughs> a foot or a fist? As hard as you try, server is locked and cannot be opened. And then suddenly a dinosaur appeared. <laughs> nah, not yet. Only dragons in this world. Oh, this is that the uh whoop. Is something in there? Nope, just uh what? Uh let me get over there. Something we still can't we gotta find a way for they get that other stuff. Why is there room. a phone? It's not a phone. What do you mean? Why is That's a phone? shoe. On the table. That's oh, a shoe. Remember? The slipper? Yeah, but you can grab it. I can't, see? Um, if I try grabbing it, it'll say, single slipper. Can you take it? No. Someone face force holds it to the table. Oh. Because I, I probably have to find the other shoe. Mm hmm. True. <laughs> That realistic door sound. Somebody must have had really fun on that session of Foley. Yep. Can 
I grab that bowl? You cannot take the Yoldi bowl. Oh. Yeah, nope, it's not gonna allow me to. Appear to be on the verge of falling down. Ooh, you have something to break that down. Ah! Uh, let's we can check. Yeah, you could go and try something. Well, the only thing I could break it now would just be the pipe. If even, uh. If it even allows it. Can't be used here. No, it was only for that. Probably for just that one area where it's like, oh, this, now you make the pillar to go across the water. So, unless we need to use it again, this might be a case mm -hmm. where. Despite having used the item's uh, maximum amount of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, uses. Uh, no, no mouse companion. Yeah. Hmm. And here's That's... where we came out of. Yeah. Well, the only thing I see is that we're gonna have to find another, if there's another area where we can put statues then we can uh, keep climbing up the tower. So we'll have to mm. go out there because there's really nothing else that we can get here. Liquid Sunset is just going to make it strong. Can't do anything with that. Well, the only thing I think of is because like, the order would be Ape Man, a Primitive Man, and then Man. So we got to see if there's another one that does it. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, I, I do like what it's trying to do here. See but else, but, but you know, regardless of what we think of the game, we are having an interesting experience. Oh yeah, no, I like it. And, and besides, yeah. what I, I enjoyed, Vass, um, I said last time when you were playing uh, Symphony that um, you mentioned about uh, that eight passengers thing, and I'm glad that you uh, went through the thing, because I still need to, to re see that JR thing, but yeah, like when you mentioned about Jody and all that stuff, like I had to look through it, and then I had to remember now about why she was... Um, uh, you know, her kids are in protective services and um, why uh, uh, she was under investigation. And a lot of it is she is trying, she is being protected by her church. So it's very, uh, a very uh. Uh, sticky situation. Oh, yeah. 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 She got in big with her church. So they're going to do everything they can to try to cover that up, what she was doing, even though she was, what she was doing was things that were wrong, you know, like, oh, just pray the gay away type of thing. Yeah, uh, there, there are some things that, uh, that, any church oh, should go. not forgive. You found a note. Uh, found Watchman's memo. All right. Sometimes Yee. they think that the church should just not cover up, and but sadly they yeah. will. Mm -hmm. All right. Because so. if they change too much, then their religion falls apart. Yep. All right. I'll read the memo. Someone has smuggled dangerous materials in the dormitory on the fourth floor. Please report any information of this to the Watchman's room. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Again, I, I'm. I'm sorry, man. It's just like, it just seeing what she was doing, it, it, it's still fucked up. Yeah. I'll, I'll just. I'll leave it at that. But you know, again, if you if you have anything more on that stuff, or you see that stuff again, yeah, you know, to talk about it. Oh, there we go. Oh, a sandwich. A port. Oh, nope. a pork. A book report. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh, really uh, Dasher, you do report. report. Procedural editendum. It has come to the good master's attention that a number of acolytes are dabbling in chaos magic. While this is, isn't forbidden, it is required that you clean up any mess that may result from its chaotic effects. Hmm. That damn chaos magic. <laughs> damn kids and their chaotic little world. toys. Yeah, where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> yes. Oh, that yeah, game. They could have done better with that game. Yeah, you know, yeah. as I said, remember my friend who who was into Dragon Age, uh, Vass? Yeah. She also uh, loved Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, ironically, so she went out of her way to get every single possible path you could in that game. And I think there's like... Oh. 300 plus possible ways you could uh, go through Shadow Hedgehog, and she did it. That uh, was a was a life goal of her, and she she managed, and it was amazing the uh, dedication oh, no. she did. Yeah. Well, she had fun with it, so. Oh yeah, she did. 
Yeah, I I I I say that's more like a guilty pleasure. It is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a note under there. Like, the, the table. like there it are some break. positives, but man, is it is it surprisingly bloated? Yeah. Oh yeah. Does the shadow of the hedgehog because he made his debut in the Song of Adventure two. Yeah, and he had a lot of fans. Yeah, I was one yeah. of them. <laughs> Wait, you really? Well, his design was cool in Song of Adventure Battle too. And yeah. The whole entire thing at the end of the game was like, oh my god, yes. And, and then, then, then Sonic Heroes is like, no, oh, no, he's an android. <laughs> and then he ends up coming back because you know he's an android. He made himself to a although, although, although the most annoying, oh, although the most annoying thing is that in the final fight, you need to waste like ten no. whole in-game minutes to learn just how the heck Shadow survived. Yep. And what game was this again? Is that Sonic Heroes? No, Sonic Heroes, that was an Android. That was the, the fake Shadow. They, yeah. they just learned, uh, oh, well, the real Shadow's out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah and the Shadow the Hedgehog was the real Shadow. All right, yeah. lecture notes. Uh, Dasher. Lecture was very interesting. To control the flood levels. Yeah, if only I can remember the sequences. Oh, God. Right, right, le oh, God, no. Right, right, right down, left. Write it down. Write no, it down. Well, no, I got it right here. Right, 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 uh, right, right, left, left, right, right. left, left, right, right, or right, left, right. L R L R. Left, left, right. <laughs> oh. up, up, down, down. These poor a, students. B, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. A B B A. Well, at least I know there's a crouch button. That'll be very if you handy find later. Any fucking animals? One of them is an owl. Shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you'll see it in the VOD when uh, you uh, see back on uh, Beyond Shadowgate. There was an owl statue outside of Castle Shadowgate. Uh, uh, uh. But it's... Owl and what's the flow thing? <laughs> uh. Middle, middle. Alright, so I need to search around here because, again, there's got to be something where I can put more statues. Or somewhere you can save. True. Uh, if I can. Yeah, right here. Yeah, you can. Woo! That would have been bullcrap. You need to find a statue. You need to say that. Mm -hmm. but no. Have no, no. This is like the like the original icon one where you didn't have to find anything. You just... Well, there's nothing trying to kill you, so... Yet. By the way, guys, gonna have to go. All right. Okay, see you. Have a nice night. Have a nice oh, night. Coming to level no three here. Have a nice night. We'll yeah, I'll, I'll do a, I'll do a little bit more of this game and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Because I, I was still interested in how uh, you were gonna do that randomizer, Vash. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I gotta like fix my sleep schedule. <laughs> it's okay, because melatonin, boy. Yeah. As as again. Uh. By the way, uh, Vash. Uh. So, what's the the plan for Friday? Because uh, I know we gotta kind of switch around. We're we just still staying with the. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um. Uh, is, is Shadows Overloading going to be that day? Yep. Yay. Okay, da uh, Dasher. Be okay, so yeah, Dasher. and before before that, and uh, I'll, I'll do Day of, Day of the Tentacle Remastered and sort of it. Okay, yeah. Game. So basically, on, on the tenth, mm -hmm. well, on Friday, I will mm -hmm. do do Dead Aim. Woohoo! Yeah. Dead Aim. Never heard of that. Uh, Resident Evil Dead Aim. It, it was the other uh, Survivor esque uh, RE game. Uh, what system is it on? Hope it's not on Game PlayStation Game 2. Ooh. And it was the other one, just like Gaiden, where it was zombies on a cruise ship. Oh, no. Oh. You run your finger no. over the table service well, receive a splinter uh, Lisa... for your efforts. Oh. We said, oh. See ya. See ya. Bye. Uh, well, I don't know if it'll have gun con support. You can always check that, Vess. Oh, it does. Well, I know. It does well, have gun con has, support. Uh, Support too. Oh, nice. Yeah, so basically, mm -hmm. yes, when you, you say gun con support, you can actually emulate a gun con in it. Yes. Meaning, like, you see how he did with uh, Resident Evil Survivor 2? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's that's how he did it. <coughs> yeah, that, poor, and, and yeah, you having to play as Steve, though. Ugh. I don't envy you on that. Oh, come. Oh, Claire, help me. Yeah. For him. Yeah. He he. Vass had to play Steve Burnside. Well, mm. I I was I was curious. All right. Oh, it's okay. I was, yeah. I was, I was just messing. 
I didn't say I again, had. Again, I do find that uh, the Dark Side Chronicles version of Steve is far superior. Yes. Oh, Sam Rayo, my beloved. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's just not, you know, the old sword clear, you know, that type of thing. Oh, I can't wait for that. Once I finish... Did he end up dying in Cloak Veronica? Yes. Yes. yes, he yes. Yeah, he, he turned in the incredible... He stole his body. He uh, turned into the Incredible Hulk, Steve, and then he uh, sacrificed to save Clear, so that Clear could give him a kiss. Oh, is this other game was before he got there? Uh, no, no. But, but no, uh, Steve was only in Code Veronica, and then Dark Side Chronicles. Yeah. Okay, Which, well... Which, in and of itself, was a retelling of uh, Code Veronica. Yeah. Just uh, like how... Just like how Umbrella Chronicles was kind of like a retelling of some of the things where, like I said, you know, those parts where Sherry was uh, going through those areas in the Raccoon mm -hmm. Police Department? Well, you got to explore that with Sherry and find out what was going on in there. Wasn't okay. there, there a moment in, like, Remake 2 where you get to play as Sherry for a little bit? Yeah, that's yeah. that's at the or orphanage, you know, and she has to stay away from creepy old Brian Irons. Although, as the uh, speedrunner has kind of shown, mm -hmm. there is actually a blind spot that you can kind of sneak into and Burnside will never find you. Up, uh, uh, Irons, yeah. Not, not Steve Burnside, you think, no, remember, uh, Brian Irons. Irons. Yeah, because, like, that's the thing, like, I'll take Burnside, today, even though Irons was amazing with just, like, how he was, but, like, oh yeah. You know, oh, maybe we need to do something with the, no... I guess not. Oh, with maybe the maybe use the maybe use the uh, bottle with the uh, with the grate there. Like what? Like yeah, he's not a bad character. The only problem is like how how care cannot handle Steve's death so well. Yeah. Wait. I'm just checking these blank books. If there's anything else on them. I thought I could place these books, but it won't allow me to. Like, like hearing her cry, it's just. <sighs> oh, tether so slightly to the carving, at the end of the rope, and dangles out the window. Like, okay. it cut, the only thing that cringes me about about Kovaranga was actually Claire could not get over Steve dying. Yeah. Hmm. So can I go out? The end of the room hangs out, so you know. Hmm. Curious as to why we need to do that. Well, he's a picklock. Can't be used here. Okay. Can't be used here. Yeah, it's like, okay, it said use this rope here. Like, all right. Uh, no, like, not that. Like, it just it just feels like a jump in the shark for Claire. Oh. Be to be like uh, breaking down. That's what teeth. the that's what the flute was used for. Oh, huh. but but yeah, it just feels like a jump into shark for Claire when he starts uh, completely sobbing over Steve, like uncontrollably. Oh, now it looks incredibly huge and sturdy. Like, Will you go down the rope? Okay. Hasn't she been through through a lot in Resident Evil Two? Yeah. Yeah. It just it just doesn't make sense, okay. and I wish. That Resident Evil, that uh, oh, like, if there was a remake oh, of. We, oh, Cobra so you know what it did? Yeah, it 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 uh, the rope uh, the the flute grew the rope. See? Oh, yeah. Like Rapunzel. Yeah. Yeah, but but yeah, I just wish that they'd done Claire a bit better. It actually not just Claire, but also Steve in in the remake of Code Veronica, if there was one. Absolutely huge. Yeah. Yeah. The the flute shrank us. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Yeah, I guess we were too small to go out the uh, window. Well, time to play the flute again. Yep, that's so. That actually lo looks like a good view, right? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's us climbing our own beanstalk. <laughs> My, it's bleak here. You were able to return to your original size. Best not to mess with that too much. Yeah. Man, Middle Earth has seen better days. Indeed. <laughs> you can even begin to guess how old some of these gravestones are.
five years, six months, two Eerie months. Eerie atmosphere. Hmm. Fresh. <laughs> hmm. Create an eerie atmosphere. Oh, these must be might be the other towers? Not sure yet. Hmm. Is a statue made from a stone like any of you seen before? Mm-hmm. I'm I'm digging the atmosphere. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Like it, it's been been a been a long time since you ever. Oh, are we gonna be doing some potion mixing? Probably. It was like an old symbol for the one. Yave, the dragon tears. When you take the holy elixir, sure. You take the bottle. Thank you, the one. Nope, okay, nothing under here. Oh, cool. Wasn't too sure if it was an, an actual ladder we could climb. Hmm. This church is quite impressive, even its dilapidated state. Huh, gotta find a way to. Oh, I see. Pipe? Yeah, no, the. Uh, here we go. Oh. Chain which connects the ladder is secured by a nail. Huh. Well, maybe the pickaxe? No, yeah, that might work. Cannot be used here. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to probably find a hammer. Even though the pickaxe would probably still do just as well. Yeah, it's like, no, it's not the right thing. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to follow the whole rule of like right tool for the right job, but like, mm -hmm. like second best tool for the job is still a good cho good choice. Hmm. All right. Oh, here we go. You found a golden key. Yes, I'll take it. A golden skeleton key? You hope to one day use this key. <laughs> you summon the gold skull. Oh, wait a no, minute. Golden a crowbar! Of course! That's what I need to get a nail out of a wall. Of course! See, DP, why didn't you think of that? You need a crowbar. The weight of the oh, crowbar in your hand makes you feel somewhat protected. <laughs> okay, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> Boy, Gordon, the MIT tra uh, training is paying off in spades. Yep. <laughs> no, no, it's, it, keep going, Vass. I, I, I love hearing what, what your discussion. Oh. What's MIT training? Yeah, that's from Half-Life 2. That's what Barney says to you. Boy, uh, Gordon, your MIT training is paying off in spades. Let me see a coffin. Will you open the lid? Okay. Oh. Huh. A little anti climax. He only knows that the coffin is empty. Oh yeah, well. How about you? The coffin is locked. Huh. Oh, well, if I know my work? grave robbering, maybe I should use that uh, crowbar on it. Oh, I can't? Oh. Boo. Maybe the key? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yes, I will try to open it. No! Somebody's dead. Scrolled across the cover are the words Family Diary. You wish to take diary? Sure. You're unable to remove the book. It will not budge. It is ironic, but it seems the corpse is holding on to it for dear life. Can huh. I use crowbar on the corpse? <laughs> it cannot be used here. Hmm. How about key? It's not locked. <laughs> Uh, would he like a coin? Nope. Okay. Penny for his thoughts. Uh, what about a iron bar to the head? Nope. Yeah, it can't be used here. Uh, how, how about, about this booze? bone to pick his teeth? 
Nope, okay. Would he like a flute? This. Alright, uh, pickaxe. <laughs> nope, not given to you. Alright, the one, what do you say? Nope, you've got nothing either. Okay, well, that's a puzzle we'll have to get back to. I was like, I thought we were gonna use the crowbar to pry that off of him. <laughs> I mean, I mean, given our available tool set, it would have made the most sense. Mm, okay. Woo! Hard as you might try, so we're just locked in Konami. Okay, so all I can really do is use a crowbar to get rid of one pesky nail that was in the wall. Ooh, there's always that pesky nail, isn't it? I know, you'd think that the pickaxe could work on that, Dasher? No, I had to get a crowbar from here, and then there's that uh, that dead guy in the coffin who won't let me read that journal. So we need to find a way to get it off of his dead body. You have dog on him? Sick yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, see, so let's use that crowbar. What do you mean it can't be used here? That's the only thing I can think of that the crowbar could be used for. There we go. Oh, we need to be clear. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why the pickaxe couldn't do that. <laughs> hmm, this, this, this is giving me kind of vibes, vast of Chronicles of the Sword, honestly. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. We. <laughs> So we found out what the flute did, uh, Dasher, if you're wondering. Uh, it, it could uh, shrink us and make us grow. So we were able to get out the window by using the rope and then going back. These were out. Oh, hey. Rope beer's unstable and rotting in many places. Huh. Why will that lead to a death? Let's find out. No. No, I can only duck. Oh. Yeah. Maybe if we use the pickaxe on. Well, it looks like it could give go at any minute. Uh, yep. Oh, there we go. He, uh, he almost sounds like Scout screaming. <laughs> Foolishly, you take a step into midair. Gravity takes over and you plummet. You have a quick, irrational thought as you fall. Watch out for that first step. You quickly meet the ground with a meaty thud. Oh, Roberta Williams. Okay. Yep. <laughs> So, at the very least, we know that we need to do some little mini maneuvering. Yeah. I'm gonna go, though. It's getting late. Okay. Yep. Okay. Have a nice, safe night, Dasher. We're oh. Almost. So, I guess we have to go in here. Oh. No. <laughs> exactly. I did a crowbar. Let's see. Whoop. I always gotta check around because this game's going to be one of those like, oh, you didn't check this area? You can't proceed. Yeah. Hmm. Again, I, I've just, I, I know, it, it just, it gives my curiosity feeling so that's just, I love it. Oh, kitchen. Well, let's check around here. There's a cover on the barrel. Will you open the cover? Sure. I wonder what's in it. Hmm. Barrel full of water. Oh well. If only we had a cup. Mm-hmm. You found a bottle containing oil. Well, you take it. Sure. I can use some olive oil. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, almost, almost, uh, olive oil almost slips through your fingers. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we caught it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Maybe we have to use the oil on the dead body to get the uh, <laughs> get the the journal. Loosen, loosen all that grip. Yep. Loosen all that rigor mortis. It's a heavy iron pot. There's no way that you can carry it. I just want to know what's inside of it. Oh. Yeah. Those are particularly devoid of utensils, as one would expect to find. Dang it. He's also appear to be on the verge of falling. Yeah, we know that. Okay, so I'm going to assume uh, that the oil is going to be used on the dead corpse. And at some point, we will need to come back with, like, a cup or a bucket for water. Mm-hmm. All right. That's that one. Let's check what's over here. 
Oh, let's see. Oh, there's that fireplace. Remember that the acolyte talked about? Yeah. It's a large dining room. You can imagine the kind of food that must have been served. Hmm. Nothing useful here. The fire burns with an odd color. Never mind that it's burning in a deserted tower. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there's a symbol there, too. Hmm. Pointing upwards. Yep. Perhaps Delta, but we won't know for sure. Hmm. So, outside of the fireplace, not much else to clean here. Yeah, I don't think we have an item. I still don't know what that Dragon Tears does. With a cautious slurp, you take a small drink of the Dragon Tears. The aches and pains of your recent ordeals seem to evaporate. With renewed vigor and a fresh outlook, you feel ready to take on the world. Oh, we give that to our our prisoner buddy. Could be. But right now, all we can do is just drink it. Yeah. Did we come out through here? Okay. Yeah, oh, we, we came did. Out okay, here. yeah. All right. So to the left. Mm-hmm. Left or down? Yeah, because we have already explored those two doors. Yeah. So. So. Let's see, let's try this one first, and then we'll go downstairs. Mm-hmm. All right. What? What? Blank room. Oh. oh, look up. Oh, uh, that's true. So, uh, Vass, um, other yep. than uh, the gun, if you get done early w with it, was you uh, planning on anything else, or that was it? When getting done on what? Oh, uh, dead aim too, just in case. Well, didn't I say say I'm going for Resident oh. Evil Zero and Resident Evil Four next? Yes. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's Dasher, yeah. Uh, DP. I see that you chose the narrow path, Young Dell. Will you continue the journey? Here, within the Tower of uh, Mir, are numerous magical devices. They await you. The second floor and beyond contains places where no one other than myself has walked. I had very many failed students. <laughs> what awaits you will test your will. Nay, not just your will, but your heart as well. Oh. I leave you a gift, a task. Should you accept the task, then the gift is yours. But first, you must find a gift called, call it a test. We will speak again. Thanks for I the vagueness, need... Slackmere. <laughs> I need hey, to get finish my metal right. run. Oh, what's this? Huh. I can go that way, but... I wonder if the flute will come in handy or not. Hmm. Okay, so stairs, so at least we know we can go back up. Hmm. This wife is unlike anything you have seen before. It is strangely out of place. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Wait a minute. Were we here before? Or no? Nah, the, this is a slightly okay. different room. Is there a note? You found a long, thick strand of hair. Will you take it? Sure. Uh, we're going James Sutherland, are we? You are amazed at the size of the hair as you take it. 
All we just need now is a hook, and we mm -hmm. can now withdraw something. From oh, the a receipt. Sure, I'll see what what's on this receipt for tax purposes. Of course. Receipt: One unicorn hoof, six fairy wings, four spider eyes, one giant hair, one very small rock, one extract of newt. 150 gold. Okay, okay. so we're gathering potion ingredients. Mm -hmm. Acolyte's diary. All right. That star. Okay. Uh, Acolyte's diary. Oh boy. Oh, I worry about good Master Lagmir. The pressures which weigh heavily upon him have grown, and yet he bears them better de than a man who's half his age. He was once again summoned to the royal chambers, and when it's all the trivial matter beneath Lagmir's situation. It seems that his King Jared's death, beginning as been slowly eroding, has only been three summers since Jared died. Ooh, wow. Still, Lagmir has those precious ball faultlessly, and him by himself. Ever since here Jared, Jared took ill several years ago, he has closed himself off to those around him. Other wards and the guards stop anyone from going back to the second floor in his chambers. No, he does not think too much of his latest acolytes, but he needs to open up and trust us with more. He is called the Blackbeard Desires, but I know, no, this is blasphemous. No one lives forever. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Well, he tapped into the force. Yep. Okay. So we have one giant hair. So we now need to get some hooves, fairy wings. Uh, new extract. Yep. Oh, here we go. We found an ornate mug. You take the mug. Sure. Ah, now we can use it for that that uh, barrel. I thought you water. might need a cup like this. Oh, this book is a little difficult to read. Magical elixirs. You take the faded tome. Yeah, sure. Add it to your collection. Yeah, all right. Luxus and potions have long been a part of the magical culture, but recently the origins and uses of such compounds have been lost and forgotten. This book shall attempt to correct that. The concoction known as Dragon Tears is one such powerful elixir. Created from one half real Dragon Tears and one half pristine water, its origin date back to the Johera and their ministra uh, ministrations to the One. And the One took his mighty creation and caused it to weep. The rain fell and washed his people clean. Because of its holy nature, it is chiefly it has chiefly been used as a means to counter magic. Used in full strength, it has been documented to cleanse tainted and cursed souls. This usage has a direct link to the Book of the One, as cited previously. However, not as well documented as its use in diluted form, for when it mixed in other liquids or powders, it can greatly increase that compound sufficiently. That is why it can be used to enhance properties in ordinary liquids. Oh. A poison may become more deadly, or a healing potion more potent. Even such mundane liquids as water can be come potent with the addition of a small amount of dragon steers. However, it should be used sparingly because it is indeed a rare item. Alright. Good to know. So it didn't do anything to us like we were okay. It just looks like, oh yeah, by the way, it's a uh, it's, uh, enhanced potion. Official's article. Alright. Wee. -hee. Sorry, I've asked, I really am enjoying this game. I didn't think I would, but it's like, it's very fun. Yeah. A nice cozy adventure game. I have requested an additional key for the underground tunnel from the old custodian. This is because we have recently lost our only copy. In future, when using this key, please return it to this room. Ah. Oopsie. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. But yeah, the music's been the music's been okay for again for a Nintendo game. Yeah. Hmm. Door won't open. Seems to be rusted. Yeah, if only had some rust red. Hmm. Yeah. Or some oil. Good old cookie. <laughs> he decided to use some oil on the door. Do we still have the oil container? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I just needed some WD-40, that's all. Let, let me know if you, you have a good stopping point. Okay. Because I, I really uh, need, need to oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> How you like that sound? <laughs> just bang my head against it, why not? Somebody had fun with the sound direction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay. More pipes. Oh, a machine. Hmm. I guess we were. I guess we were slowly oh. entering. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> bang we, on it. I guess we were slowly in, entering. Oh, into the, here the we machinery. go. An object shaped like a star adorns the metal door. Will you take the crest. Remember the thing we saw in the fire? Oh yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what we need to do, Star Crest. Alright. Uh, I'll stop it at the fireplace. Just have to make one. Yeah. yeah. Good old WD 40. Always does a trick on a door like this. Indeed. <laughs> okay, so. I think, uh, yeah, I had to go through this door. So what we need to do now, let's go here, and then check that fireplace. It's, it is going a lot faster, Vast, than uh, Castlevania 64 was, isn't that? Yeah. Yeah, the saves are even quicker, too. It still boggles my mind just how much, like, you know, two and a half, almost three years to making, and just how much just didn't seem like they did anything. Oh, right. All right. What? Oh, oh maybe we used the Dragon's Tears with the the bucket of water hmm. and then use the cup and then use that cup on the fire. Let's see. Yeah, uh, that is a good idea. Make sure to do a safe state first. That is a giant mug. Keeps on the water Indeed. with the mug. Or we just save the dragon's tears, I don't know. Yeah, like again, it said like the diluted properties are quite mm -hmm. effective, but Okay. Hopefully it's enough. Well the water fire the little though keeps burning. Yeah, okay. What do I do is, uh, let me go back one. Uh, so, Dragon's Tears. Yeah, I was thinking Dragon's Tears. So, I'll drop the Dragon's Tears fell into the water. Okay, now we get out a cup. There's our Greek mug, or ancient Greek mug. <laughs> Alrighty. Now let's see if this is a thirst quencher. Mm-hmm. Oh, Was that again, sorry, Vess? I'm still waiting. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it, it's almost done. As soon as the water hits fire, it merely goes out. All right. Yep. There we go. You insert the crust, and the tower begins to vibrate. Something has turned on. But that will right. have to come for another time. Yes, save. Save data. Save complete. And do a save state. All right, mess. I did it. That was fun. So, uh, what now? And hope uh, Rallius uh, Hunter, you guys all join it. Best?